Hi everyone, today we're talking about coffee and tea. Coffee and tea, is it right for me? We're gonna find out, so please don't pout. And I busted a rhyme because I had the time. Okay, so enough fooling around with stuff. Let's get into details of some pros and some cons. First thing let's tackle is coffee. Let's talk about the bad stuff first, or the bad part of it. So let's start with the easy stuff, uh, possibly staining your teeth. The next thing would be if you're caffeine sensitive or sensitive to caffeine and you have jitters or you have problems sleeping. Another thing is sometimes coffee can have an impact on absorbing nutrients. So for example, if you take like I say a multivitamin or something, you wouldn't want to take your multivitamin with your coffee in the morning. So because it can inhibit um, some uh, nutrient absorption. And then the other thing, which is kind of a bigger thing, this has uh, only been really known for about 12 years. It's a thing called ac acrylamide. Well, this is something newer, and there's been some studies on it. Uh, it's basically acrylamide is created when cooking you know, carbohydrates and like baking frying stuff at, at a high temperature. So your biggest culprits, your worst thing would be say like french fries and potato chips. Those are some of the worst ones. Now, if you're eating a lot of fried food and you're drinking tons of coffee and you're adding all that, uh, that's not going to be good for your diet, but that's like a bad diet anyways. They're still doing research on it. It does show carcinogen, but the levels, and we're not quite sure because it is newer. However, I've also read that they're, they do the testing on some of the beans after they've been roasted. However, after they're ground and um, actually brewed into a cup of coffee, I've read that the uh, acrylamide percentages and you know the parts uh, uh, parts per million or billion go way down. So I think that in general, if you're having a cup or two a day, I don't think it's a problem at all. And uh, the caffeine, you know, is not going to probably be that big of a deal either. Like I said, unless you're sensitive to caffeine. And uh, co coffee in general has a lot of antioxidants and has, has been shown for some cancer prevention. So I wouldn't go to the recommendation of saying, if you don't drink coffee now, you should start drinking coffee for the health benefits or, you know, because you can get stuff because you can get antioxidants in other ways. But if you do drink coffee today, I wouldn't say, you know, you have to cut out coffee because it's all bad. So just keep in mind, you know, some of the absorption and how much and not too late in the day or in the evening. The other thing too is really uh, is going to be how you're drinking your coffee. I think also coffee can get a bad rap because what do people do? They put a bunch of creamer in it, they put a bunch of milk, they put a ton of sugar, or they get, you know, drinks from a lot of these, you know, places, I'm not going to name names, but they go and they buy, uh, you know, a coffee. Well, that that's, uh, yeah, that has some coffee in it, but there's so much other stuff and junk in there. Artificial colors, artificial flavors, preservatives. They're doing shots of, you know, liquid flavoring, and it just ends up being this, you know, three, four hundred calorie, you know, 16 ounce or 20 ounce, you know, thing of, of just junk, basically. Keep your coffee to a minimal as far as the ingredients. If you do put something in it, you know, try to get uh, maybe a little splash of almond milk or soy milk or something. And if you want to put a little bit of sugar in there, that's fine. I would definitely um, not put any of the artificial sweeteners in. I have a video about artificial sweeteners, and that is not good. And just throw some real, natural, you know, raw, unrefined sugar in there. Yeah, it's very minimal calories and very minimal sugar. We'll try to get organic uh, sugar or sweetener for that. And then also get your coffee, get a good coffee. So a good coffee, I was gonna read the, the back of this. A good coffee, and I did uh, another video called World's Best Coffee. So that has some more information too, but I'll just do a quick breakdown. Uh, buy it organic, try and get Rainforest Alliance certified, try and get a fair, tr fair trade, sorry, and get fair trade coffee 
and shade grown. And my other video explains, uh, uh, the world's best coffee video explains some more on those and why you want to get those. But uh, just get yourself a good organic coffee. And my other coffee video I also talk about keeping the cholesterol to a minimum by using a filter and there's more details in that other video as well. So we're finding out and there's a lot of chemical compounds in coffee but in general um, I don't think you need to be worried about it. Uh, like I said, I would have you know a cup or two a day. I wouldn't go crazy with it. So the next thing I want to talk about is green tea. Now between green tea and coffee, I think that green tea is better for you. It does have a lot of antioxidants. The caffeine content is also considerably less than uh, coffee. And for example, on this box that I have here, I'm just reading the side of it. Um, Average milligrams of caffeine for an 8 ounce serving, green tea 20 to 40 milligrams compared to coffee 100 to 120 milligrams. So green tea I think is in general um, good, it has antioxidants, it has a very minimal amount of caffeine. I wouldn't be stressed about that. However, if you do have problems sleeping and you know blood pressure and things, that's something to take into consideration. Maybe try not to have it right before you go into bed. Um, the downfall with uh, tea, you know, might be staining of your teeth. But uh, I do think that it, it has a lot of uh, benefits to it. Um, kind of a lot to talk about every single little benefit, you know, just in this video. I, I would recommend it, you know. Uh, if you enjoy it to put it in there. The same thing I mentioned with the coffee. Try to keep it minimum with the extra stuff going into it. Um, any kind of you know, flavor shots or extra stuff. If you want to put a little bit of lemon in there that's good or um, if you want to just put in some natural raw unrefined sugar a teaspoon or two. And lastly I will mention uh, between those different teas there's a lot of different teas as far as um, green tea, black tea and all that stuff. Uh, I think uh, you know, green tea is better for you than black tea. Same thing with the tea, also try to get that organic. Either your tea or your coffee, try and get organic. Enjoy. So any questions or comments, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my videos and give this video a thumbs up if you like it too. Thanks. Bye.